Right, hello and welcome to another video. And in this one, uh, we're giving this extremely pretty mine from the uh, late 1700s to early 1800s. Uh, we're lucky because sometimes this mine will not allow you access. Uh, there's a lot of uh, timbers and ochre in this one, so sometimes uh, the portal, at the portal, it's belching 17.5%, but today we're lucky, it's clear, so we're going to go and have a look, and as you can see straight away, 20% old, yeah, 20%, that's fine, uh, old timbers, right, right at the beginning, and uh, yeah, there's, this is very photogenic mine, there's a shaft that is uh, wonderful, but uh, last time I came in here there was a dead lamb floating there, so... I don't know what's happened to his body, uh, but uh, yeah, He's, it seems to have disappeared. Get back that lamp. So there we go, and we're inside the mine proper. So as you can see straight away, there's a lot of old woodwork, and this is rotting, which doesn't help the air situation in here. And you can see behind Peter there. Peter from uh, Mine Explorer UK, subscribe to his channel. Hello. Hello. And as you can see, Peter's kicking, he's either got extreme diarrhea or he's kicking up a load of ochre. So, yeah. Uh, the floor itself, although it looks silty, it's actually quite solid. You can't feel silt beneath your feet, so that is good. Uh, so, we're going to go some old ironwork there. So, we're going to go. Ooh. Crack on and show you the beauty of this place. Okay, just a little bit further in. I think this, they may have tried to come here in the 70s uh, to clear this out, but they had lots of trouble doing so, so they gave up on it. Uh, it's, it's part of a very large mine complex, but uh, background thwarted attempts in the 70s to reopen it. Uh, but you can see some of the uh, anchor points there where the electrical cables were. So we shall continue on. Yeah. And you can see the water level does change. Uh, the rocks are wet halfway up, but there's no tide line, so it's, it must be very quick flash floods when it's raining. So we we'll continue on. Right, yeah, just a bit further on, and uh, yeah, there's another rotten piece of wood with a pumpkin. Yeah, I wouldn't touch, if you're coming down any of these mines, uh, don't touch any of these wood because they, they can be solid, but they can also be very, very rotten. And uh, yeah, the last marks of a um, mark at 300, so that's 300 feet in. Uh, we're going for about 3,000 feet, so. And there's a drill mark, so we can see from this that they were most likely going this way. What they can, those marks can be from is them later widening an older mine, but in general, uh, you can use them to tell which way they were blasted. So they're going this way. There's another group, so. Alright, let's continue on. Mine is about 3,000 feet dead straight. As you can see there, Peter with his torch, it just goes on and on. But at 1,000 feet, there will be features. So let us continue. Lights out. <laughs> We should be coming across this shaft soon, and that is uh, quite a thing to see, as you will see shortly. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but got an inscription. You just move your torch a bit, Peter, there. It's just glass, but you can see now. It says TF 10 1962. So, yeah, that'll be from either an explorer, of course, or one of the gang trying to reopen this at a later date. But, yeah, right. 
And you see that where Peter's wires on the left hand side. Dangling. So we'll continue and you'll see the shaft and then we'll see lots of uh, really nice woodwork in a bit. Okay, here's the shaft. And I'm going to be very careful if my jingle is not more true. But as you see. Formation going on right up. I'll take the camera off in a bit and uh, take some pictures individually. But the uh, video will be a pain in the ass. Here's a uh, soft point from the other side of the shop. And uh, quite a part of thousands of pieces. You can still see the portal there. So that's quite amazing because you've got a lot of iron deposits in the bottom there. Yeah, it's really nice and it's quite nice and it's quite nice and it's quite nice and it's quite nice. So we now continue on. Okay, I've taken the camera off the gimbal and uh, taking on take a drenching and have a little top for you. So you have to bend it and see. Oh, it gets very wet. Very, very wet. I hope it's worth it. Oh, there you go. Wow. That's bad. Oh, and it tastes of iron as well. Is it a tight? Yeah. Okay, just a bit further on, as I always say. Uh, there is a collapse here from a raise, which is a shame because if you get through there, and I don't want any mind, there is a level running up there which connects through to other bits. But I suspect, as usual for this mine, it's probably all shag later on because the geology does change further on in the hill and uh, it becomes pretty rough so and if we look back we can still see the portal and it's very accurate wow okay we shall now oh hang on there's an arrow there it says 1,210 feet, so 1,210 feet. I would have missed that, but the camera picked it up. I couldn't see that really clearly from naked eye. Right, continue on. Okay, Peter has just discovered the wood chamber. If I uh, turn my lights up a bit. 19.4 here. Roger, I think we're good to go. Yep. And uh, That was very safe in here. It's, a, it's an abandoned mine, what do you want? A health and safety representative? Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> go get you one. <laughs> a cost assessment? <laughs> hey, I don't know, some people. But there you go. This is one of the things that adds to the bad air, uh, the rotting wood sitting here. So, yeah, you've got to be careful around these things. If you touch them, they can emit hydrogen sulfide. So, caution. Should be taken. I'm going to go through here. I think I'll keep you with me while I do this. And hopefully, the gimbal doesn't take a dip in the water. But uh, there we go. You have to excuse the dodgy lighting. So I'm trying to walk through rocks and stuff. There we go. And you can see just about the arch further up. So I'll shut your back. Is it going to work? Okay, just past there, and we're rewarded with our first bit of arching uh, for this mine. There's no flat ground, so that means deeper water beyond, possibly. So, here we go. Here's a traditional. Excuse me, I'm just going through these rocks on the floor. Our traditional Northern Pennine arching. Uh, many mines do not have this at all. But we are lucky up here that uh, wood was so scarce and costly that they had to uh, use stone instead. So, let's make a way. Let's have a look in this little chamber here. See what I got. <coughs> More rotten wood. Yeah, yeah, that's what we've got. And then another arch beyond there. See the water here. Yay, 
we that deep. Oh, so what you can see here is the uh, trail chain and some of it's collapsed over the years. Uh, not too deep I went through. We've got another collapse there so the water's getting a little bit deeper beyond as always. So we'll be back in a moment. What's the percentage now? It was 18 just now. Alright, carry on. <laughs> it is getting drier the air but and it's now 18% so We'll go through this hey, one. You go first, you go wind, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, no, so wimpy. Well, look at that. Well, look at the guide here. That, that's a tunnel that's built for your head to go under. Death chamber. So, that's the death chamber. Which chimba. means that this is not going to go above your head. Yet. Oh, okay. This is. Wait, 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 wait. Glad I've got waders on. I, I remember this. <laughs> I remember this bit. Yeah, okay, so that's lower chest. No, it's way beyond bollocks. <laughs> Let's have a look at Peter trying it. Just to give you a sense of... Sense of edits here. And silliness. <laughs> My torture! <laughs> it could be worse, could be mine. I can't get too high, because I've got phones in my pocket. Oh. Hold on, is this as high as it gets? Yeah. Oh, that'll do me nicely then. He says confidently. <laughs> you can put your phone in my top pocket here. My I've got crack! A... My crack! I've got a thingy if you need to. No, it's all right. It's, uh, I don't right. think I'll get any eye in that, will I? No, I don't look it. <laughs> he says. <laughs> you never know you look. Right. We'll uh, continue on. Onwards. You can see where it has been. That black uh, tide mark there. Yeah. That's where it's been in the past. So uh, we're lucky. It's like this now. Slightly higher up, by the looks of it. Yeah, it's just a wee bit. I keep my nipples out of the water. <laughs> my phone's still... Oh, my torch is still on underwater! I didn't realise. <laughs> you could jump its waterproof. Oh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? No one about Peter himself. <laughs> I must turn that off. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Ian, I've just, I've just lifted my leg up there. Let's just see the gooch got cold. <laughs> There we go, so yeah, we'll make our way through this bit and uh, see you on the other side. Bit of a dodgy roof there. The air just cleared. Weird. Oh yeah, the air has just literally just cleared a vapour. Oh. That's weird. You've got the air meter you behind me. <laughs> right. It feels fresher here than it did around the wood. That's probably because of the rotting wood, so. It's 18.2 here. Yeah, it's gone up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's probably because we're in the chamber where the, with the rotting wood, when I would clear that, it's gone back up again. Right. It doesn't feel like 18.2. It feels fresh to me now. That makes any sense. It does. It feels higher than that to me, actually, at the moment. But there we go. Subjective. Right. Okay, here's something uh, you don't see too often. There's some fungal growths on the water here. Weird, not seen them before. There's a bit of uh, black mixing in there. Mm. Curious. I'll pass them gingerly and head up, head on up into the drift here. And we've got some more wood here. Um, Aliens. There's, <laughs> there's wood further up and you can see actually here just been enveloped by silt, maybe, no, wood under the water. So, caution should be taken here. There's some hidden there, so it's trip hazard as well as air hazards. We're on uh, 17 and a half on the air at the moment, so we'll continue. Okay, just past there, and you can see more timbers in the water, so gotta be very careful around these so we don't get them emitting hydrogen sulfide. And there's more arching up there, so we're gonna gingerly make our way through these timbers. It's a probably a mixture between 17 and 1800, so nice. This is 1900 above my head. Oh, right. Missed that one. Oh, well. Okay, 
and through this third bit of arch, well, I am, I can hear rumbling ahead. Uh, apparently we are at 2,000 feet and he is Peter making his way just passing the wood. I don't know what he's up to. Checking the air. What are we at? Bollocks. Wow. Drenched as we were at. What, the meter? Yeah. Oh, is it working? No. Shit. Yeah, you might wonder why that high. <laughs> There's another meter thing there that says 2,000 feet as well. But if the meter's dead or well, in not functioning, we can't go ahead. Just see what's going on. Okay, the air meter is good. It's past the 17.2, right? It's past the breathing test as well, so it's still working. So we are clear to proceed through these rotten timbers. You can definitely feel an effect of the little oxygen, but it's still all good. Let's see if we go through here. Lots more rotten timbers. We used to support the roof. It looks like this one's failed, and the roof has come down afterwards. So, yeah, another one here. You can see the timbers there failed. And I can hear water rumbling ahead, which is, I think, the last collapse before the last chamber. But we shall see. I might be wrong. I might be right. I might be just waffling. There we go. Right. Right, we now know the meter works because it's going off. 16.7, was it last time? Yeah. So 16.7. So uh, as it's dropping to less safe levels, uh, Peter's going to take the lead. And uh, all we've got is a final chamber to look in ahead. There is a collapse beyond, there is a bit beyond that, but it's, yeah, it's going to be too dangerous to do that. So. We, and that's only a small section, so we're just going to take you up, pop our heads up and have a look into this final chamber, uh, which I can hear from here, and uh, we shall call it quits there. <laughs> the, the meter has taken a donkey, so we need a margin of error. <laughs> so, right, okay, continue. Okay, Peter's taking the lead there, and you can see up here, just no distance. There are pick marks. There you go. Direct results of the miners' activities. Lovely. So we're at 16.7. It's just going to show you. 16.3 now. 16.3. Yeah. Once that hits 16, we quit. Yeah, 16 turn around. Yeah, so we may make this chamber. We may not. Let's go find out. Right, about 2100. We are lucky actually because sometimes this mine won't let you in at all. Today it's been quite good to us. Well, I have been to the end before, so we shall see. Oh, what's that? Oh. What is what? Oh. Make a metal chamber across the hole. Oh, yeah, that's the final collapse. Right, okay. Right. We shall uh, see you there. Right, I have been through there before, but the problem we've got here is the oxygen was at 16.2, it's now 15.8. So we're not going to proceed into that chamber and we're going to turn around and get out of here. Uh, there is, you can climb up into that chamber, it's a collapsed chamber obviously, and then there's another uh, archway ahead which is quite deep in water. And that just ends, uh, goes to a collapse, so we're not, it's not worth it. You can feel it's on your lungs and everything, so we're going to get out of here, take some photos on the way out. And uh, yeah, calling it quits there. Dog spike. There's my finger for scale. Well, right. Okay. Peter, you are such a big kid. Hmm? <laughs> 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 
tell we've been in low oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're on our way back out, and as Peter's just pointed out, that is not actually 1962. That is 1862. 100 years old, which makes much more sense. It could actually be 1860. Not entirely sure. There we go. So it's much older than I thought initially. One of the problems with exploring these old mines is when you're going in, you're in sections like this where there's timbers on the floor, you can see them. <laughs> when you're going out, yes, it's incredibly silty, so you cannot see where you're going. So you've got to be proceeding very, very carefully uh, so you don't take a dunking. Famous last words. Uh, right. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, then please. Like and subscribe and uh, check out Peter's channel as well. Those aliens. Link in the pop-up box and there's one in the description for the traditionalists. Right, we're going to get back out of this place. Yeah. Yep, air's yeah, going back up, so there we go, the meter's shut up. We're back in the uh, safer zone. Oh, maybe the meter's not <laughs> shut up. You'll get up, don't you?